if you ever wonder no so why the infiller of design of the pump is in this form so you have this type of vein no so we have different types so pwede siya maging radial blades like this one so for this one we have your veins which is in 90 degrees so ito so yung angle natin dito 90 degrees and also yung intake natin is 90 degrees the tangential flow velocity bt2 at the exit is equal to the blade tangential velocity u2 and the head is independent of the flow rate as shown now if you're going to plot the head versus the volume flow rate so we have a constant head no and an increasing and an increasing volume flow rate so starting from from zero then you have a constant head no then next we have the another type of uh, blade which is a backward curve blades so ito yung ina mostly na ginagamit ngayon no so mapapansin niyo we have um decreasing head no with an increasing bullying flow rate so so ang big sabihin noon if you uh tawag to push the water at the long pipeline so yung pressure head na nang dinidischarge mo is also decreasing but we have an increasing bullying flow rate no so yun lang ang ping disadvantage nito as you increases the the volume flow rate or let's say if you increases the head okay so the volume flow rate also increases no so the, we have a decreasing head pababa yung head natin so we have pressure head natin pababa but we have an increasing volume flow rate so yun lang ano niya pag ang disadvantage niya pag mamalala yung pipelines the so water distribution system is um it will not be suitable so depende pa rin sa manufacturing no so if you going to use this one so usually naman palagi ka doon sa what will be the head that is required in the system then corresponding volume flow rate so if we can push the fluid at that amount and at that pressure you required on the system now the backward curve veins so we have a backward curve veins which is the angle of less than no less than 90 degrees the tangential velocity BTT2 is great BT2 is greater than the U2 and the head decreases with the flow as shown so yeah decreases as the flow as shown so next we have a forward curve blade no so mapapansin niyo uh th this is uh, already greater than no yung angle niya which is greater than 90 degrees so forward curves so we mapansin niyo if you're going to plot the head in the volume flow rate so we have an increasing head and we have also your volume flow rate increasing as you increases the head volume flow rate is also increasing the forward curve veins so forward curves we have veins which is greater than 90 degrees the tangential velocity bt2 is greater than the u2 and the head increases with the flow so the question is what is the suitable that ano yung gagamitin natin for industrial use? So let's try to go back yung problem natin no the last time no. So if our B2 so katulad na lang nito no. So we able to compute yung ano no yung ang uh, yung velocity BT2. So with an angle of 20 degrees. Now if we're going to change this one to 90 degrees so substituting it in the equation so usually if you're going to input it in your calculator so wala siyang value if you're going to do uh, to input that one because if you're going to input the tangent of 90 degrees so we have an output of on complex infinity now we try to simulate which is yung kaya i-compute no now so in import ko dito yung solution natin yung previous uh, topic so since it, this is 90 degrees if you're going to imp, uh, type this one as a input natin dito so we have sample we have tangent of 90 degrees okay 
So that will be equal to 4.56 meter per second. Then we shall divide it by now that will be 0 0.2 no meter so i'm going to multiply this by 2 pi so the same yan copying that one so we have no so try to press this one in your calculator so usually yung sa akin sang lumalabas is um right na lang itangent mo yung 90 degrees so, ang lumalabas sa akin is complex infinity. No? Now, if we're going to change this one, which is 89, so, eventually kasi hindi wala tayo makumpia, makuha ang value no? na para maipag-compare natin sila, no? So, I want to change this 89 since it can be computed, it can be calculated using 89 degrees. So, if you're going to use your uh, calculator, so we have the value of um, 31.33. So, this is meter per second. So, mapapansin nyo na lang, from here, which is 20 degrees to 89 degrees. So, the abrupt changes of velocity from 18.88 to 31.33 meter per second. So, I import the ano, ng, um, equation for water horsepower. So, we have the PW. If we try to solve this one, so we try to compare it by means of power. No? So, if you're going to use your PW for your power, so we have your density, bully flow rate, times your U2, times your BT2. Now, for our power, so we have your density, usually naman, this is common, that will be 1,000 kilogram, cubic meter. Then, in bully flow rate, so we have the bully flow rate, which is 0.229 cubic meter per second. So, I'm going to use that one, 0 0.229 cubic meter per second. Then, we have BT2, uh, BT2 which is 31.33 meter per second. Now, let's try compute yung water horsepower, which is equal to. So, we forgot to add yung U2 dito. So, for the value of U2, so we're going to add, that will be 0 0.2, no? Meter times 2 pi times 1,500, that would be red per minute. Then, I'm going to multiply this one to convert to seconds. Okay, so this is the value of your U2, not then. So let's try to cancel the unit so ito matatanggal na okay so what we have is kilogram meter second squared so we have your newton then another meter okay then we have our seconds here so so we have the output power which is equal to 225.39 so this is now kilowatt okay so this is the water horsepower required to produce that flow at the angle of 90 degree uh, 89 degrees which is closer to 90 degrees no so we have at uh, 20 degrees we have the water horsepower which is equal to 182.3 so yung angle natin dito is using the 20 degrees now comparing at 89 degrees so we have the 225.39 kilowatts so malaki yung ano increase so it means that as you increasing the angle in a re, uh, if you're going to use the radial no so yung power niya also increasing so from 20 degrees to 90 degrees no 90 deg 20 to, to 90 degrees or let's say 20 degrees to 89 degrees so we have an increasing power so Kung may increasing power ka nyan, so it corresponds to increasing electrical motor power. So, increasing electrical motor power, also increasing the electrical power consumption. So, magas in, in short, magastos siya sa kuryente if you're using a 90 degrees angle or radial type of vein. 
Now, pag backward naman, so again, kanina nakuha natin, which is 135 lang. Uh, han, going back to the... So, we have only an equivalent of 182.3 horsepower. No? So, if we forgot to convert this one, so let's try to convert. No? Kalimutan ko. So, so, 1 horsepower, so we have 0 0.746, that will be kilowatt, no? So, we have the corresponding of 302. 302.13 HP, okay? So, sorry about that one. So, um, ganun pa rin, na increasing pa rin siya in comparing doon sa kanino nakuha natin na value previously sa calculations is 182. So, for the backward curve, so, so, for the backward curve lane, so, that is less power consumption, okay, compared to the radial blades, no, now, for the forward curve blade, so we're using here 180 degrees, no? So, let's try to solve that one. Let's try to solve that is a uh, tangent of greater than 90 degrees. So, let's try to use um, 120. So, that will be tangent of 120 degrees. So, using your calculator, so... Let's try to solve this one. So, what will be the BTT2? Uh, BT2. So, we have the B BTT2. Uh, B2, uh, BT2. So, this is equal to 34. 34.04. That will be meter per second. So, uh, let's try to substitute again dun sa equation no? ng power. So, we have, nakuha natin is 244.04. 892 kilowatts. So, I'm going to convert this one to horsepower. So, so I have the value of 328.27. So, this is the horsepower. Okay. So, if we're going to take a look at the overview, okay, so you will notice, no? If we will be using the radial, no? okay, so looking at the overview, if we're going to use the radial, so radial veins, so we may be able to achieve a 302, so yung horsepower niya mataas pa rin. Now for the backward curve, so ang nahuluhan lang natin horsepower is 182. Now for forward curve, mas lalong tumaas ang horsepower ng consumption ng, ng motor dito. So, which is the best practice, so as much as possible, we want to conserve electricity sa pagdating sa planta and mga other processing. So that's why ang um, mostly applicable talaga is the backward curve blades, so for industrial uses. Now, kasi makikita nyo from the computations, so through analysis, we able to come up with a lower horsepower. So usually, kung mag-multiply mag mo na lang naman ito sa... Uh, uh, pump uh, efficiency, then you can get the size of electric motor, no? So, yun yung ano, advantages of using uh, mostly ang ginagamit na blade in practice nowadays is a backward curve blades. So, that's why hindi kayo makakito ano, ang forward curve blades and also the radial veins. So, because of the angle and also the electrical consumption. So, pagbabasihan natin yun, which is very important in terms of um, processing and also sa mga planta, mostly talaga yun ang pinagbabasihan. We want to conserve more, uh, conserve electricity because uh, electrical consumption and we want to great, uh, increase the production pagdating sa mga planta. So, uh, decrease the power consumption and increase the, pro mass, uh, increase the production. So, that's why.